tutorial we'll talk about image registration which is same as georeferencing but using another image where the spatial reference is known so if you uh, go to your lab for data folder you should see two other images one is called nape imagery 2006 and one is landsat 2007 so if you open the landsat imagery you should see that it has uh, no spatial reference you can see it from the unknown units and if you open another data frame and load the nape imagery into this you will see that it's the same area but in this case it has um, the spatial reference of uh, NAD 1983 UTM zone 11N. So what we need to do is we need to convert the Landsat imagery into the same uh, spatial reference. Now if you look at the properties of Landsat imagery and you go to symbology you will see that um, there are three bands but if you pull down uh, three channels but if you pull down the bands you will see that Landsat has seven bands so there is uh, one configuration of these bands called uh, false color composite so in that layer 4 which is infrared is given to red color 3 which is green is given to green and um, blue is given uh, 2 is given to blue and if you apply this you will see that the vegetation starts to show as red color so in this um, I'm gonna use this false false color composite um, channel allocation so the first step is to put both of these images into the same data frame and they should be placed into the data frame of the image where the spatial reference is known so we'll put the Landsat 2007 image into the NAPE imagery data frame and you will see that it will uh, give you a warning that the spatial reference is unknown now you can remove the other data frame because that one is not needed anymore now if you click uh, to the full extent of the image you will see that the NAPE imagery as the right location but the image Landsat image is not uh, showing at the correct place because there is no spatial reference it is showing uh, it is placed arbitrarily where uh, the current its current uh, coordinate matches with the this image so uh, the goal is to do the image registration make sure that the georeferencing toolbar is uh, turned on uh, and you can turn it on from by right clicking in the top area of the uh, of the the window now in this again you will see that there are two images of course those are the Landsat and NAPE but you will select the one that needs image registration or the where you need to uh, uh, create a spatial reference so that would be Landsat um, and now first of all uh, zoom into the Landsat image and then uh, this uh, is the the image that needs to be uh, registered and then zoom into the uh, NAPE imagery and this is where the spatial reference is not known so first of all look for common features in the two images for example if I zoom into uh, this area and um, I can see that if if I can find the Tropicana and Maryland intersection in the Landsat image and match it with this point that way at least I will create one ground control point so zoom to the Landsat imagery and just like that zoom into the uh, the area and you will see that uh, of course th this is this has a lower resolution but you can make out the intersection of Maryland Parkway uh, and Tropicana and so add click add control point 
and click um, at that intersection so just like last time in georeferencing one point has been selected and now you wanna match it with the second point uh, previously we right clicked and added the data manually from survey points but this time um, go to NAP imagery and zoom to that layer and then uh, you will see that th this line appears because it is still waiting for the second point and zoom in to that the intersection of um, of uh, Tropicana and uh, Maryland Parkway right here and again because the the scale is different you want to make sure that you don't zoom in too close so that it is kind of representative of the scale that you are trying to georeference and then go back and click add control point and you will see that the the previous point is still uh, there and you can click and you will see that this will bring that other image right here um, because it is uh, creating the this georeferencing uh, as we add ground control points. So now let's zoom to uh, NAEP imagery again and you will see that the Landsat image is kind of covering the NAEP imagery um, and they're only linked or matched at one point that we have provided. So in a similar manner we need to provide more points and we need to provide these points kind of spread out in different parts of the the images. So let's uh, look for something in the in the south area southwest area. So now you can kind of uh, uh, turn off, turn on and kind of look for different road intersections that could be used. So I'm seeing one road intersection that I can use as a ground control point, uh, which is this point right here. So I'm going to click this point. And now, because Landsat imagery is hiding the NAEP image, so make sure the intersection that you have picked and turn off the Landsat image so that the NAEP imagery is visible and I'm gonna pick the intersection in the NAEP imagery and you will see that now when you turn on the Landsat image it has pinned two images at that point also so go back and zoom to the full extent and you will see that now the registration is kinda getting better um, keep looking for a few more points and you will see that uh, this will uh, result in uh, improved registration um, so I'm going to select a few more con ground control points. Okay, so I have uh, selected some more points, and I um, I'm hopeful that you have also selected more ground control points. Um, now you can go and look at the table and see how much error each one is contributing, and you can see um, that I can do several uh, ways here. There might be some non-linear transformations needed in this case. Um, so if I go to the second order um, and the third order polynomial fits, you will see that how, um, in this case, I am actually warping it more than uh, needed. And this is what I was referring to last time, that you, sh you should be able to see that in higher order polynomials, even though it is fitting your ground control points um, in the best possible way, the, the error that is uh, introduced you have to kind of look at it visually and see if it makes sense in my case it's also indicating that I have fewer gr ground control points in this area and this area and that's why it's warping uh, in that way let's go back to the second order polynomial now uh, the other thing I want to touch base uh, uh, touch upon is that this uh, higher error point for example number one if I delete it, the overall error will go down. So if I delete that point, you will see that the error has gone down to 4. I still have another point which is very high error. I'm going to delete that, and my error goes below 2.27, uh, below 3. Um, and typically, in, ca in this case, in case your uh, data is in meters, you want the uh, error to be below 3 meters of root mean squared error. 
fine. Now, if you look at um, the image, if you haven't uh, added more points, make sure that you have more points. But once you um, have enough points, uh, ground control points, and the root main squared error is reasonable uh, below three, uh, go to georeferencing and click rectify. And again, here you need to provide the information about where it needs to be saved, what would be the data format, and the name of the file, and click save. Uh, this way you should be able to save this image. So this concludes our um, tutorial on how to do image registration which is having these two images that have different spatial reference but bringing them together and matching them so that you can overlay um, and look at the, the analysis such as difference. If these were images from two different years you can see how things have changed over time. Um, also, certain image analysis like difference of the two images um, can be calculated. Certain spatial statistics can be calculated. Um, so this concludes our tutorial on image registration.